It's been a while since I did a building with no plan video and I found a really nice river. There's a tavern in The Witcher 3 that spans across a river and I always loved the architecture of that build so I want to do something similar, maybe like a house on the bridge, build some sort of tower. Let's see what I can get up to. So I'm thinking a mixture of brick and granite. I don't want to do just my basic stone brick. Everyone does the exact same kind of color palette. I want to do something different. You know, it would be kind of cool if it was not perfectly straight too, like kind of a diagonal bridge. I'm not, I'm not even counting the blocks. I'm just kind of going by feel. Something like that. That looks decent enough. I know this is probably the strangest way to start building a bridge. Normally you would start with the actual bridge structure. Okay. Um... That doesn't look quite right. Hold on. I did something wrong. This is only six. Okay, this needs to be seven blocks. Okay, that looks better. That looks more natural. Uh, maybe one support right here. So that's just kind of the basic idea. But I think I'm going to need to thicken these up a lot. Here, maybe I can sprinkle in some terracotta. Did that look stupid? <laughs> I mean, okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. I just wish that terracotta had more texture. Is there another block I could use? What about sandstone? That eh, doesn't look that good. <laughs> uh, come on, there's gotta be something good. Oh, maybe exposed copper. Okay, that's two done. That makes a nice sound, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds good. That looks a lot thicker. It's kind of like, uh, you know, building in Minecraft is like painting a picture. And you don't have any real sense of what it is when you first start you know you've got like a couple lines a couple paint splotches on there and you're kind of trying to figure out where it's going to emerge from as you build more it becomes more and more apparent what you have created the hardest part is always starting that's true with lots of things in life but once you actually get going it's like okay i can see i can see a vision where this is a full build you know just going to take some time you know given that this is like an old timey ancient you know brick granite bridge i don't think it makes sense to have those like kind of metallic mesh wire arches where it's like a bunch of little tiny bits like on my minecraft server i built some bridges and it has like all these like intricate parts i think it should just be like one you know super chungus thick arch there we go you see what i'm saying it's like just kind of really thick and then we'll do another one right over here, like this. I think it's missing a little bit something down here. Hold on. It's a little bit too squat. It's It just doesn't have any detail yet, so it looks kind of trash, but I'll make it work. Okay, that's that's definitely coming together now. That's, that's looking a little bit better. Oh, I missed a spot. Let me just, like, start chipping away at this a little bit. Hmm, it's starting to get dark. Let me get a torch in my hot bar. Alright, that's looking definitely better now. A lot more character going on. Maybe the next thing would be to get some fence going. Could you mix two different fence colors? How about jungle and spruce? I just realized mud would make for a really good brick. Just like sprinkle in a little bit. Yeah, that's good. I mean, actually, it might make sense to put it more near the bottom, where it's kind of like saturated with water. Oh, you're kidding. They don't mix with fences? That's so lame. Okay, I guess we'll just use solid blocks then. Just for like, maybe these parts like that. Just where it kind of like, it steps up. That's where we can put them. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I was thinking that we would put a building on top of the bridge. Yeah, so that's kind of the general framework of that. Oh, and you know what would be cool, actually, is if it overhanged a bit off the edge. We could do that on both sides. So we'll break these fences, obviously. Cool. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm not crazy about these jungle pillars. Maybe mix in some mud. This is gonna be a really weird building, man. I've never... I don't really build diagonal that often, so getting out of my comfort zone on this. Maybe we'll just fill this in with slabs so that there's some depth to the ceiling. Yeah, so when we're underneath here, it's kind of like a little uh, gathering place for travelers. Yeah, that's that's adding some charm to it. Maybe we could add some villagers. Here, let's give them some name tags. Clarence. Come here, Clarence. 
Okay, you know what? We're gonna name them all Clarence. This is the, uh, this will be called the Clarence Cafe. Oh, you know what would be good? It would be banners. That look nice. That's kind of good. Yeah, okay. This is starting to come together, dude. Actually, I'd, it'd be kind of nice to leave an anvil out. Right there. Maybe some cauldrons with lava in them. Scooch. Get out of the way. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just realized you might be able to walk into that. Get out of here, Clarence. Never mind. We'll just leave that empty. <laughs> that could have been really bad. I guess one thing I have to note is how are they going to get up to this building part? I'm mean, going to need some sort of staircase. Um, hmm, that is the question of the hour. Maybe on the side. Maybe we can have a little platform that comes up. Just like so. Okay, so that can be one entrance. And we'll use trap doors for the stairs. I wish there was a better way to do this. Maybe I could do them on the inside. It looks a little janky, but maybe it, it fits the vibe of it being like a rickety platform that's overhanging the side. Hmm, is there a way I can do this? I don't know what should go in the middle here. Maybe it's just a mud block? Yeah, there we go. That looks good, dude. Uh, maybe I should do one more on the other side too. So I have two different entrances. So like one right here as well. Got two Clarences having a discussion. <laughs> Here, I could do a little support pillar right here, actually. That way it's kind of... doesn't feel like it's too flimsy. I think I'm going to need some more uh, support beams coming out of this, though. Dude, this looks cool. This is like a like a Horizon Zero Dawn meeting point. Where you meet a bunch of NPCs here. And it's like traders and bounty hunters and whatnot. This is cool. You know, one thing that's been bothering me is the... These need some slabs here. Just make this feel more accessible. Oh, wait, does the copper oxidize? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I'll just have to replace this with mud, I guess. I guess the next place to do would be the actual building thing. I'm just not quite sure what it's gonna look like yet. I feel like it needs some sort of texture differentiation because everything is very brown right now. It's some sort of pop of color. Maybe some green, that could be kind of nice with the earth tones we got going on here. Let's just get a framework going. So what if I just used terracotta for the walls? Uh, I don't know about that. That's just a little bit bright, and it's a little bit too similar to the current color palette. That looks kind of nice. Uh, I just gotta make sure that the, the powder has gravity to it. Yeah, let's get this ridiculous green out of here. I don't think the brick is gonna work. Maybe it should all be mud. Bro, this clearance is living on the edge, literally. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. The, the banners actually, I didn't even intend to do this, but the banners match the walls perfectly. That's actually pretty good. If this is going to be a tavern, it almost makes sense to have two levels because it's like you come inside, eating area, but then we have a staircase to go upstairs to where the rooms are. Actually, the rooms could be for all the clearances. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do it. I think we need a second floor just to really, really flesh this out. Um, the question is though, how am I going to do that? You know, kind of like that, where it's only uh, this half of the tavern, and then this half is just going to be kind of roof. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we just need a little support beams, though, to make this look decent. I love doing these building videos. I just... I always love seeing something come to life. Like, this didn't exist, you know, an hour ago. And now we've got all this. And then, I guess, the roof. Let's see. I mean, nether brick might be too dark, but we'll give it a go. I'm not sold on that design. Maybe I should go for a more pointy roof. We'll just fill this top bit in. That's a pretty cool looking roof. Nice contrast. I just need to, I need to add the roof on this side so it doesn't look so lopsided. Maybe this side will all be slabs. That's pretty cool looking. It's still very much a basic, undetailed build, but this is really solid, dude. All right, I've been spending a lot of time on this bridge, so let's switch gears and work on something else. So I had an idea. I was thinking a lot about the lore of this build that we've got going on with the, you know, the Clarences and whatnot. I was thinking it would be kind of funny if we had a rival coastal camp and they have like tents and little rafts and it's like, who's better? You know, Clarences versus, I don't know, Terrences or something. So I want to turn this spot into some sort of camp. I think it might be kind of cool to raise this up instead of flattening it down and making it into kind of like a cliff. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, so something like that. I can add some, some more detail later. 
two beds in here and maybe have some trap doors. Uh, maybe some barrels in the back for their storage. Okay, the back looks a little stupid. Maybe something like that. Yeah, that's a good little tent design. I, I like that. Maybe this one could be a bigger tent, not the same exact design. Maybe four beds in here. Uh, what else? What else? Maybe a window? That would be cool. Okay, yeah, I don't want this to be a massive camp. Alright, let's get the Terrences going. Here, Terrence. Alright, we've got a bunch of Terrences now. I want them to be a different profession, though, from Clarences. Maybe we can make them, like, Fletchers. Maybe we can have, like, an archery range on top of this little hill. So we can have a little spot over here for where they, you know, get their weapons and whatnot. Looks like the Terrences, uh... They're spawning firepower. They might- the, the balance of power is getting out of hand. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool already. So we, I think we need some trees though, to really make this feel like it's its own area. So there's actually a trick, a way that you can force an oak tree to grow every single time as one of the big ones. You put down the sapling and then build one block up like that. And then you just spam it with bone meal. Might take a while. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so that's- that's pretty aesthetic. It's much better than these like tiny crappy trees. So we'll just do a few of these around. Maybe one more right here. Maybe I should have some different height though. I should add in some other normal oak trees. It's kind of like that just to make it feel like it's a bit of a forest. Go out of the way Terrence. Yeah I just want it to feel kind of like a thick forest. Like these are like rogue villagers that are hiding in the woods like elves. I always love putting lanterns on trees. I don't know why but it just looks so Aesthetic. Dude, the Iron Golem's going to work! Yes. Destroy him. Oh wait, no way! He's pinned him in, he can't get to him. I'll help him out. Yeah, get clapped. That's right. We need to give him a name tag for his achievement. Alright, big boss. <laughs> now I really gotta make sure that the Clarences have something, because if the Terrences have big boss, then it's not, it's not gonna be a fair fight. Here, is he gonna be able to get out of here though? <laughs> he might be trapped. This actually might be a cool cave for me to dig out, though. Kind of naturally integrate it with the terrain. That way I can get Big Boss out of here, too. Yeah, this could be like an underwater, like, boat dock. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I want to turn my attention back to the camp. This is just really plain looking. I feel like a campfire makes a lot of sense. Hmm, this is kind of a weird elevation change. Now that I'm looking at it, I need some sort of staircase. Maybe like that. Okay, that's already looking so much better. I need to add some chairs around this campfire, but this is this is really turning into a camp, isn't it? I think the uh, I'm giving the Clarences a run for their money, dude. The Terrences are just scaling up. I'll make it better. It's gonna turn into like an arms race, dude. They're gonna just like ramp up each build until which one's better. I do think I need a little port down here, like not not even a port, but just like a little dock. That looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then I need a way to get up and down. Maybe another staircase up this way. That looks good, dude. That looks really good, actually. All right, and then maybe just some grass. Actually, this should be a fence so they don't fall down. All right, that's looking pretty good, dude. I don't know if I need to do much more than that. I guess at this point, we could turn our attention back to this. I was actually talking with my girlfriend and she had an idea about building like a hot tub, like a jacuzzi. I think that'd be really cool. I just need to figure out how I would do that. But for now, I think we need to terraform this because this doesn't look that great. I want there to be kind of a gradient from the dirt to the uh, planks, you know? So it feels like there's dirt on top of the planks. Okay, that's a good start. Yeah, dude, if you ever want any building tips, it's always gonna come down to having variation. Like, imagine how boring this bridge would be if it was all brick, or if this was entirely spruce, or if these fences were entirely jungle. You gotta have a, a mixture of color and pattern and texture. Oh, you know, I had a really cool idea. One thing that I love in gaming is when you're able to access the same area through different means, like different pathways, different staircases and ladders and whatnot. I was thinking about having like a secret ladder, maybe right 
here. And then we have a little platform that comes out, a little tiny micro platform. Maybe it could come this way. And then we have another ladder. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, so the idea is that you come down, you're like, ooh, this is a little bit sketchy. And then you sneak through here. So you can make your way all the way down from the bridge down to here. I just love that kind of stuff. Like you're adding another way to get to the same location. I keep seeing potential of having like a little room in here. Like this could be some sort of wine cellar. Maybe we could have a villager that lives in here and he kind of mans the, the wine cellar, a little room back in here. Maybe this guy will call him something else besides Clarence. He's not one of them. We call him Bart the Exile. <laughs> Come here, Bart. Man, I love this stuff. It's like you're just adding to the, the lore of the world. So cool. That looks so bad right now. I just gotta flatten out these walls so it doesn't look so ridiculous. Okay, that looks way better now. Much, much better. Let's just make sure this connects up to the, the actual main bridge. Okay, let's get an overview of everything we've built so far. I mean, added this little port, added a little staircase down there, a little wine cellar and a little room back there, the rival camp of the Terrences versus the Clarences. <laughs> this is really developing, man. I love this build so far. I feel like I've been doing a lot of terraforming and, and landscaping stuff. I want to switch back to some architecture. First place to tackle might just be the interior of the tavern. No, because this place is still really bare. There's nothing in here. Maybe I'll start with that and then we'll find a way to do the jacuzzi. Maybe we could have like a little stage right here. What's it called? A karaoke stage, you know? Or this could be like where singers perform. I think we needed some sort of crown molding on the roof like this. So it makes the ceiling look a little bit more interesting. Maybe the bar should be right here. Okay, that's good. And now I just want a bunch of tables, I think. That'll really fill this out. So this could be like a little seating area. It's gonna be a very tight squeeze, that's for sure. But it's gonna be cozy in here. Maybe a table right here. I don't want there to be too much stuff in the middle so you can walk cleanly in between this. Maybe some carpet in the middle. Oh, a jukebox. That would be perfect, actually. Yeah, I feel like a lot of restaurants and taverns, they always have tons of posters and paintings up everywhere. So this just kind of makes sense. Okay, this place is really cozy, dude. I love this. I guess I could have one more level now that I'm seeing this giant roof. Or maybe I should leave that for like a, um, what would you say, like an attic where the bartender can put all of his goods and whatnot. Because as of now, there's nowhere where he would be storing the food that he's preparing. So that makes more sense. So we'll we'll divvy this up into a bunch of rooms. Hmm, this is such an awkward shape with this little lip right here. Maybe we could have one room even back in here. One bed there, one bed there. Get a lantern. Barrels for storage. Just, you know, a little basic room. This is like kind of a, like a traveling motel, you know, where you're not going to like stay here for long. So you wouldn't need a ton of stuff. I wonder if the Clarences are going to be able to find their beds up here. Because this is kind of high up. Where are they? Where are all the Clarences? There's one. This might be uh, Bart the Exile. No, that's Clarence. One up there. I'm a little worried. They haven't died, have they? Or did they migrate over to this camp? No, these guys are Terrence. There are three Terrences here. I think they might have died. <laughs> I think I might have let the nighttime go too long. Wait, there's one. That's Bart. Okay. We still have Bart. Okay, I might have to make some new Clarences. All right, that's fine because I don't think they ever, I don't think they ever bonded with these beds where they would treat this as their home. One there, one there, and then we can have some doors to give them a little bit of privacy. It's like a little privacy partition. Oh, and I could also put some banners up. Yeah, so it's like a little private room, or you know, semi-private, I guess. This is not the most spacious build I've ever made, but. I really like how it's coming together. It's so cozy in here. So we're gonna have one, two, three, five in here. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna have two in here. We got one Clarence, he became the uh, bartender. Okay, we've repopulated. We're, we can't let that happen again. I feel like with this many villagers though, there should be an iron golem spawning. Oh right, and then there was one more room. We probably have some windows up here actually. 
So this is just going to be a ton of storage, basically. This is where the, the tavern keep can put all of his materials and stuff he's bought to keep the business going. Perfect. Okay, man, this is... We're starting to really round this out. I still need to make the hot tub, though. I think I'm going to have to build another structure. Or not a structure, but like some more support beams. Hmm, the villagers, can they... Do they take damage on magma? Oh. Oh, yeah. No witnesses. Maybe we'll just put a uh, fence gate on here, so... They can't use it, but it's more for just decor. Before I do this, actually, let me let me make the structure. I need to have some sort of a framework. Do like a pillar right here. So we'll extend it out like that, kind of. This will just be like a little patio. Maybe deep slate to line it off. Mm, I don't love how it has to come up. I'd rather it be built into the platform. You bring this down one block, you know, like that. So it's more like you're going into the hot tub. Awesome. That actually looks really clean, doesn't it, with the deep slate? That looks nice. Maybe we could have like a little, um, what you call it, like a little canopy so that if it rains, it doesn't rain on the hot tub. Now, it's a little bit square. I think we need a little bit more... Oh, that looks so stupid. <laughs> I gotta find a way to cover that up. Maybe just with some trapdoors, honestly. I want to make this feel a little bit more obvious that this is a an entrance to something. Yeah, there we go. I definitely need some color. I was thinking about it a lot, and I need some leaves and some green in this build for sure. Oh, wait, I just realized there's there's a layer of wood here, but then it's just a wall. Okay, I have to extend this out one block. That actually might look better with a bit of an overhang, as uh, Bob Ross would say. Happy accidents, huh? Yeah, that looks much better. All right, I'm just going to add a few more finishing touches, a few more details, and then we can do a full recap tour. Check this out, dude. I, I had an idea of copying the entire build into an archive world. So every subsequent Building With No Plan video, I'm going to just copy and paste the build into the super flat. Doesn't this look cool, though? I mean, it's like its own little bite-sized world. This looks awesome, man. Okay, so you already know the drill. You already saw the Clarence uh, Cafe. You saw the Terrence Camp. But I added a few things in. I just wanted to recap. Added a nice little, um, what would you say, a little campsite for the Clarences to gossip and overlook the Terrence outpost, make fun of them, throw spitballs, right? Added a couple of these little, uh, I don't know, gates or little lantern things. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it, but it looks pretty nice. Just, you know, refined some details. We got some spore blossoms in here. That looks really cool. Added some signs, right? Clarence Cafe, no Terrences under any circumstances are allowed in here. Yeah, man, this, this is such a cool tavern. I love this build. Oh, I did realize this used to be a ladder, right? But the villagers, they get stuck on that. Once they go up, they can't go back down. So I had to add a staircase. We got the jacuzzi, right? VIP only. It actually has a really nice view across the river. I didn't even realize. Look at that. There's Big Boss trolling. Added a couple more decorations down by the little dock down here, right? Bart the Exile just taking a snooze in his little wine cellar. And this was pretty cool. I added a little parkour thing, if you can call it that. You jump across here, and then, oh, we got a little hidden little hidden tree house. Check this out. And then I obviously added some pathways, right? So they connect up from the cafe all the way down towards the outpost, the Terrences, right? Added some rocks and decoration and whatnot. Of course, got Big Boss, making sure no Clarences get near the, uh, what did I call it? Terrence outpost, <laughs> uh, right? Got the archery range as normal. Terrence is taking their snooze. But yeah, man, I mean, this is pretty much the build. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And one more thing I want to show you. I've added this mod to the mod pack called Exposure. And what you can do is you can take pictures in game. Is that not cool or what? I want to make a museum and hang up all these photos as I add new builds to the archive. But yeah, and you can then like hang it up on blocks. That's so cool. Oh man, this looks even cozier at night. This is awesome, man. I gotta say, the bliss shader is kind of growing on me. This looks so, I don't know, inviting. You know, just so much charm and loveliness, for lack of a better word. That's about it. So, I'll see you later, dude.